Hey everyone, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here for another video. This video is going to be a vlog. I'm just gonna really bring you along with me this week, show you more of my crazy schedule. I feel like I always talk about my videos, but I thought you could come along for the craziness and the fun. This is a big, juicy week, so it'll be fun. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and if you're a teacher, you know how that is. That's always a crazy day, and I'm wrapping up basketball season also this week. So yeah, I thought it'd be cool to bring you along, show you how I balance teaching and grad school and coaching and having a social life and all that craziness. So yeah, I'm so glad you're here, and this should be a fun week. Sunday afternoon. Sundays are usually pretty chill and relaxed for me. I go through so many emotions on Sunday. I'm like happy because I got to sleep in and it's a day off. Overwhelmed because I want to get so much done so I can be prepared for the week. Sad because I have to wake up early in the morning, like so much. So I usually try to take it easy on Sundays. Last week was brutal for me. <laughs> I don't know what was up, but it's a really hard week. So yesterday and today I've really just been trying to be a little bit more prepared for the week. I've gotten lots of homework done and throughout the week I'll share with you how I stay on track for all my homework. So I'm going to get a little bit more done and then it is Super Bowl Sunday. Comment down below. Obviously this will come out after but comment down below if you're rooting for Cincinnati or the Rams. Obviously you know who I'm going for. I'm just gonna get some of that done and then if I get enough done and I feel okay I'm just gonna go to my dad's and watch the big game. Valentine's Day <laughs> I feel like I am not mentally prepared for the energy that's about to be inside my classroom today every teacher knows holidays are just crazy the kids have so much fun but kids fun comes at the expense of the adults definitely <laughs> getting things done but I'm not a morning person so I try really hard to make sure everything is set up the night before for the next morning so when I come in I already have at least the first little bit already together I don't know if you noticed but I'm in a different classroom now about three days into the new semester we had a little emergency at the school I'm I teach at so I was asked to move to third grade homeroom so I have obviously a bigger classroom lots more students um, it's been fun so far so maybe later on in the week you know when things settle down I can show you a little bit more of my classroom I haven't changed too much just because it's one the middle of the year I'm super slammed and hopefully this teacher returns next year i usually get here about 30 minutes before the bell rings so that gives me time to get any last minute things done and honestly just get prepped for the day you know i feel like i have to get in the mindset again so check my emails catch up on those read over my lesson plans just little things like that to help me you know warm up a little bit <laughs> Surviving Valentine. 
Valentine's Day. We're halfway done. Yay! So the best part about my new schedule is I have double the amount of planning time. I also teach an extra class, but I have so much more planning time. So my goal really is to just work hard during my planning time. So I take home no work before I was just taking home everything because I only had a little bit amount of time. So during my planning, I mostly grade so I don't have to take home papers, emails, and really lesson planning that's what i'm doing now i brought i found this recipe i might share in another video it's like chickpea noodle soup so it tastes like chicken noodle soup but obviously no chicken so good so i just bring in my little thermos so i don't have to go and heat anything up every day by the time I get home <laughs> so it's about 6 45 right now so the rest of my afternoon I teach until 3 30 all my students leave by 3 40 3 45 and then I go straight to practice right now we're in the girl season so yeah i go straight to that after school until about 5 30 so as soon as i get home i quickly make something super quick this is why i've been trying so hard to get healthy food but stuff that's convenient i have a lot of veggie patties that i just heat up with some rice and veggies every night but i usually get home and then around 6 30 i start on my homework or whatever work i have for the night so how each of my grad school courses works is i take one class at a time for six weeks so every week I have lots of reading to do. Grad school is so much reading. So I usually start with that every week. Then I have a discussion board that's due Saturday night and then one that's due Sunday night. And then all of the rest of my assignments, right now it's two a week. Those are due on Wednesday. The beginning of my weeks are so hard because it's all slammed into these three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Luckily, when I'm on top of my game, I use the weekend to get all of my discussion boards done and at least drafted so then I can post them on like Monday night. So I pretty much finished my discussion board for tonight, Monday, yesterday. I just had to tweak it a little bit and I ended up having some free time during my planning period. So I got that submitted. So now I can just focus on the other two assignments that are due Wednesday. The tricky part for me is coaching. We have games on Wednesdays and Thursdays so I have to be really really proactive about not waiting till the last minute because Wednesdays I have like no time by the time my games get done. So since I got my discussion board for tonight done a little bit early I'm trying to finish up editing this YouTube video. This is my current favorite products. It'll probably be up by the time this one comes out. So if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and do that. So yeah, any time I have a little bit of free time or extra time, I really do try to fit YouTube in. It's just super hard. and I'm already ready to pass out which is pretty normal for me. I get up at 6 a.m. every day and I try really really hard to make sure I get at least seven hours of sleep every night because if I don't I don't think I'd be able to function during the day so that is like my main goal. I feel like it does the body good to just rest you know not try to push through. I've learned that over the past year having a busy busy schedule that it's important to rest. Yeah, I'm usually already in bed by 9, 9.30 and those late study nights, I think the latest I've ever gone to bed was 11. I usually have a pretty early night. 
and Tuesdays are always my super long days um, I have team meetings and then I don't have it today but usually I have my PD professional development study group after school plus practice plus sometimes other meetings like I have another one I just finished my team meeting I have another one in 15 minutes um, so yeah Tuesdays are a busy busy day this is super random but I've been so obsessed with smoothie bowls lately last week I had three from different places this one me and some other teachers here we keep ordering it it's from pliables if you're here in Denver area there's one in Littleton I was just getting the I think it's called the kale power bowl which is just a green smoothie with protein in it and then topped with granola almond butter and bananas this time you can like mix your base so I got the half coconut half green base it's so good so that always helps me on these long days <laughs> Lots of grading to do, some math assessments, writing draft. It's like the biggest difference from first grade to third grade is that grading, there's more grading, but it's like more intentional. You know, grades matter a whole lot more in third grade than first grade. So I've been trying to really stay up with that. I'm also by myself for practice today. So gotta dig deep for that. So I gotta make my practice plans. This is when I start to get a little crazy because I just have to move so fast i feel like sometimes you need processing time when you go from activity to activity to activity so just literally rush to practice every day i feel a little scatterbrained so kind of just get everything ready so i know tomorrow morning what i have to get done okay i'm off to practice my plan for tonight is to get at least one of my assignments completed and turned in by tonight and then have a good solid plan finish my other assignment tomorrow and work on it throughout the day it's definitely possible i do this often i usually always have something on in the background just that no volume so like mostly basketball or like during football i had football on just to make me feel less lonely and like i'm missing out on something <laughs> by far my toughest day of the week um last night i finished my first assignment um it was pretty late so now today i'm trying to get this last one done it's been really hard for me to focus today it's always just like things come up that need my attention right then and there so i have to put off like my plan for the day so that's always rough for me in my tight schedule but we make it work. I'm like, I'm so tired. Last night I started getting like this allergic reaction right here. I took some Benadryl last night and I had to take some this morning just so it goes down, but it's making me so sleepy. I'm struggling, but it's fine. For the away game, it's super hard because I have to leave right as dismissal's happening. So it's always crazy. So I'm about to pack up my things. So I'm all good to get on out of here on time and make it to our game. Happy late start day. Of course, I'll always take a snow day. But I love me a good late start. I stopped at Starbucks, of course. So I kind of had to abandon y'all yesterday. So sorry, but I knew it was going to be a crazy day. I had such a hard time focusing during the day. And then we had our game that's 45 minutes away. And it started to snow. I knew that was going to happen. So it was snowing and it's just nerve-wracking driving in the snow. The drive home was insane but 
got my assignment done last night i ended up going to sleep at like 11 15 so thank god we had a late start it is about nine students are going to start coming in in about 45 minutes so i'm just gonna use this time to catch up on some work things and that way for my planning today i can work on some school work because today is basically our friday tomorrow's a teacher in service day so anything i don't get done i can hopefully find time to do tomorrow but i want to catch up on school work because i'm going to la tomorrow night tomorrow night oh my gosh there's never enough time but so i want to pack tonight and get all situated for that i think having a busy schedule is totally doable it's just all about being flexible and finding time to fit everything in and being able to modify that when something comes up you know and also i've learned this over the past year it's just like giving yourself grace we all wish we could get everything checked off the to-do list but it's just difficult there's always a need for more time <laughs> again <laughs> but i got my usual okay y'all i just got home I'm gonna get started on everything i have to get done tonight i literally made a to-do list on my phone i'm that person these days so let's see write down a few notes from what i read earlier today laundry upload my video pack and then start working on my airplane to-do list i just put together some tasks that i can do without wi-fi like read my textbook start my assignments draft up some discussion questions to post when i get wi-fi so things like that i have to do this Lately, I've been really having to write down at the second I think of it what I have to do just because I have so much going on in so many different parts of my life that I just have to write it down and keep it together. So I find that on my phone works really well. I literally just use the feature that has the little place where you can check the little box next to it. So when I complete something, I can just click it and it checks it off. Works so well and most likely you always have your phone so you can always have your to-do list. finishing drying but i'm just gonna go ahead and get started with packing a little bit i already have a few outfits that i already planned out in my head you know actually first i'm going crazy let's check the weather for this weekend so i get in tomorrow night oh 73 saturday sunday 67 okay so yeah i already have some outfits planned out yes i'm being extra and taking the big boy <laughs> I don't know, but like LA is like the one place that I cannot go with just like a small carry-on suitcase for the weekend. I think it's just because like and me and Gabby get into some interesting, interesting adventures that different clothes are needed for. So yeah, gotta have my options, you know. I changed out my toiletries bag instead of using one of my packing cubes. I found this cute one at I think either Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, one of those stores. I forgot, but it's so cute. All my contents are pretty much the same. I just transferred them and it fit everything so nicely. She's so cute. Friends, we made it to Friday. Hallelujah. How cute. This sleeve that I got, Caffeine Teach Repeat, sums up my life pretty well. I switched it up today. 
Y'all are seeing me. I really don't get Starbucks this much. I'm telling y'all. I got iced chai with coconut milk and one shot of espresso. So it's an in-service day today, which means basically teacher work day. I'm trying to find our schedule for today. Eat, staff meeting, 8.45, a little bit of PSYOP overview. 9 15 to 12 15 lesson planning time individually or in teams lunch and then organizing i'm honestly really tired once you're like done with the week you're done with your adrenaline rush you crash so hard like the beginning of my weekends are always tough which is technically today i also got to bed really late last night just finishing packing and like my usual nighttime stuff shower all that so i'm a little tired but Today will be a good productive day, and then I'll be off to LA. <sighs> okay, I'm headed to my other classroom to to organize a little bit in there. I am really just so exhausted, like... Mm -hmm. 